Erie County's new controller is defending claims made by his predecessor concerning overtime pay the county health commissioner earned during the pandemic. Former Erie County controller Stefan Mihailu says health commissioner Dr. Gail Burstein has earned more than $330,000 in overtime pay since she took office. He says most of that came during the pandemic. County Executive Mark Polenkars slammed Mihailu's report, calling it inaccurate, even using profane language to describe it. Tonight, we get an outside perspective on the report. I sat down with the man who replaced Mahailu in the controller's office. He told me where he says Mahailu missed the mark and about the changes he would like to see moving forward. This whole question of, uh, of management confidential employees, exempt employees, if you will, uh, salaried employees, uh, collecting overtime um, is something that needs to be revisited um, as soon as this thing is over. In his second week on the job as newly sworn in Erie County controller, Kevin Hardwick says he's ready to get to work and be a trusted watchdog for taxpayers. There's no question that uh, Mark Polenkars and Stefan Mahailu didn't see eye to eye on a lot of things. Uh, they had a relationship which was uh, uh, very, very abrasive. Uh, I don't think that they were good uh, uh, partners in government, and I hope that that's something uh, I I'll be able to change. About a week before Hardwick, a Democrat, was sworn in, his predecessor, Republican Dr. Stefan Mahailu, released this report gaming. detailing overtime payments made to County Health Commissioner Dr. Gail Burstein since she was appointed in 2012 to serve alongside so County Executive Mark Polenkars. The report demanded Burstein pay back more than $370,000 in overtime, comp time, and holiday pay that Mahailu says she has collected since her tenure began. The former controller claims Dr. Burstein, who was paid a base salary of $209,000 in 2021, is not eligible to collect overtime for a number of reasons. Among them, Mahailu says Dr. Burstein is required by state law to have a medical degree as part of her job title. And the CSEA contract the county follows says anyone who is a doctor is barred from collecting overtime. Hardwick would not comment on that portion of the former controller's report because it's currently playing out in a court of law after several taxpayers filed this lawsuit. But he did comment on the OT numbers in that report. But the report, again, I think uh, overstated the, the overtime by about fifty or $60,000. Um, but again, she still collected a lot of overtime. And it's something I think that uh, when the pandemic is over, uh, the uh, county legislature and the county executive, and, and I'd like to be part of the discussion, we should revisit that. Hardwick says after careful review of the former controller's report, what Mahailu classified as overtime, totaling more than $336,000, was overstated. He says to get to that number, the former controller must have added comp time and put a dollar amount on days bursting took off. It's not like getting cash. It's getting time off. Um, there's a difference because time off doesn't cost the taxpayers of Erie County anything else. It's not like uh, uh, we, we need to hire a substitute health commissioner to get paid when she's taking her time off. And he says he doesn't quite know how the former controller got to the $336,148 figure. But Hardwick does agree that Burstein has received almost $285,000 in overtime pay, holiday pay, and comp time cash buyout during the pandemic in 2020 and 2021. Specifically, yeah. if you're talking about 2020 and 2021, he wasn't really off it, by it's, that. Yeah, it's, it's off by a few thousand dollars, yes. It's BS, it doesn't pass the smell test, and you guys keep on reporting it. Erie County Executive Mark Polenkars was visibly upset when I asked questions about former controller no Stefan Mahailu's report on Dr. Burstein's overtime last month. It's over with. And I hope the rest of the media understands that whatever he's going to push over the next few days, remember, he's being paid by Big Dog Strategies to be a paid political operative, and he might be paid right now. But in his COVID briefing the following week, apologized for his initial reaction. Because it wasn't accurate, it was wrong. The 7 News I team has repeatedly asked the Poland Cars administration for what discrepancies in the numbers he says exists when it surrounds the payout for Dr. Burstein's additional pay. And uh, we'll give you the accurate information. It's, it's a lot. 
Hardwick says Polencars' interpretation of the numbers and what he considers overtime may be different. It depends on what you call overtime. Again, if you're including holiday pay, if you're including the comp time buyout, uh, then if, if you're including the overtime, uh, 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 straight overtime, yeah, then you, you get up to that 280 something thousand dollar figure. Um, and it, again, uh, Mark, Mark may not be willing to count that as overtime. But Hardwick did confirm what Polencar said in his last COVID briefing. Dr. Burstein was not the top overtime earner in 2020 and 2021. Hardwick's office says Dr. Burstein was the 10th highest overtime earner in 2021. The top nine earners are employees of the sheriff's office. The highest earner is someone who works in the correctional facility from the sheriff's office who took home $163,034 in 2021 overtime. We do not know the person's position, but do know the person is not a managerial confidential employee. That figure does not include comp time buyout and holiday pay that is included in Dr. Burstein's numbers. There was still a lot of overtime and many people would consider that excessive and I can certainly understand why people would get upset about that. Should these high ranking county officials be eligible for that much overtime? I think I, I, I think that's a that that's a great question and it's a question that needs to be answered by the county legislature in conjunction with the county executive. And as comptroller, I'll, I'll be glad at the appropriate time to weigh in on that. Hardwick says the numbers show Dr. Burstein earned the lion's share of her overtime during 2020 and the first quarter of 2021, saying she has not been accumulating a lot of that in recent months.